guys, Nick here at Nightlife Kennel. Hope all y'all are doing well. March 19, 2018. Kill season is officially closed in North Carolina and South Carolina. Uh, has been for just a little while. Hadn't had a chance to get any hunting done because I've been working so much and then the weather hits on nights when I do feel like going and I'm not able to. So, but anyway, training season is here. Now's the time before the leaves get on real heavy. We're gonna try to hit the woods as much as we can. Work dogs, uh, work on any kind of issues or problems they may have. And then also I might try getting nicks and tough out in the woods and let them kind of figure out what creeks are and how to crawl over stumps and things like that and kind of let them experience a little bit. So that's what tonight's all about. I'm heading down to South Carolina to meet up with a buddy of mine named Trey Alexander. He lives down around Union, South Carolina. I met him at Walker Days. He wants me to come down there and bring hide. He's got a couple of started dogs. He's wanting us to all put them in the woods and see what these star dogs can do. And I appreciate his invite. It lets me get hide out of the woods and put him in some good timber too. So Trey, I appreciate you, buddy. Looking forward to this hunt. Heading down there right now. But I also want to touch on a few other points. We had an awesome season this year, uh, 2017, 2018 season was awesome. Don't know how many coons we killed. I don't really tr keep track of that. Don't really care, but we had an awesome time. Uh, worked through a lot of issues with Hyde. He was uh, having issues with the building pressure with other dogs. I about got that broke on him, so we got that accomplished. I've got Tough and Nicks now. We're working on them. I started the YouTube channel back in the fall. As of today, we're up to 363 subscribers. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate that. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate y'all loyalty and watching my channel. Um, we've got several sponsors out there. Of course, we got Sport Dog Brand. They've been a sponsor of mine. We're pro staff with them. I appreciate Sport Dog and everything they do. We also got uh, American Veteran Outdoor Pro Staff. American Veteran Outdoors, you got to look into them. They're taking veterans and their families out in the great outdoors and helping them acclimate back to civilian lifestyle. I really appreciate them supporting my channel. Um, we've also got Hound Dog Gear now. That's the hat I'm wearing. I know y'all see my videos regarding that. Hound Dog Gear hooked us up with some cool stuff. Josh Lambert, Hound Dog Gear, I really appreciate you. We've got Value Pack Dog Food now. Been feeding that for about 10 months. Dogs are looking good. Hides real healthy on it. Um, Value Pack, they're a really good sponsor of mine. I only push the products that I use, you guys. So whether it's all this stuff that I'm talking about, that stuff I use on a daily basis, whether it's in maintaining my hounds or actually when I'm out hunting. So I appreciate all my sponsors looking after me, taking good care of me. This channel has led to a lot of different stuff. Another big sponsor of mine, of course, is Big Dog Lights, Matt Williams. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate everything you've done. The new Genesis light he's got out now, you guys see me wearing it every night. It is absolutely awesome. I highly recommend anybody go get that. So, Sport Dog Brand, American Veteran Outdoors, Big Dog Lights, Value Pack Dog Food, Hand Dog Gear, I appreciate y'all from the very bottom of my heart. I appreciate y'all very much. And then my subscribers, 363 means the world to me, guys. I can't believe y'all are, there's 363 y'all out there actually want to talk to me and uh, enjoy watching me film these hunts. So I appreciate it very much. A lot of times you guys are hitting me up. I'm talking to you on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram Messenger. Feel free. Anytime you guys got a question or you just want to say, hey, Either leave it in a comment below on one of my channels, or I'm mean, excuse me, on one of my videos, or hit me up on Facebook, Nick Gilliland, or Nightlife Kennel on Facebook. Message me at either one. You can also message me on Instagram, Nightlife Kennel. That's all caps on Instagram. Uh, anyway, say hey. At the very least, say hey. If you got a question, hit me up and we'll talk. I try to respond to everybody as best I can. While I'm on that topic, too, I want to give a big shout out to Stevie May up there in Kentucky. He's a brother in Christ of mine. He's been hitting me up on Messenger now for probably close to a month. We talk on a daily basis. Stevie, I appreciate your friendship, buddy. I appreciate everything you do for me. Uh, you're a real good guy to talk to. I appreciate you, and I appreciate your loyalty watching my channel. So any of you other guys want to ever give me a shout out, just hit me up. I'd be more than glad to talk to you about anything I can. In the meantime, we're heading down here to Union. We're going to meet up with Trey Alexander. Try to put these dogs in the woods. Hopefully, we'll get to see some ringtails by the end of the night. We got bad weather coming in later on, so I don't know if we're going to get it done before the weather gets here or not, but we're going to sure give it a try. So, bottom of my heart, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you down in the Union. Hey, guys. Nick here, Nightlife. We're down here at my buddy Trey's property in uh, Chester County, South Carolina. He's got a couple of his dogs, and I got hide with me. Um, got his son Dakota here and Aaron. We're getting ready to take these dogs and put them in the woods and see if we can't see some rain here for too long. So, anything you want to say?
Let's have fun. So what dogs will be. That's it. We're going to have some fun. And hopefully these kids will have some fun too. So we'll see you guys when we cast them. All right. Good boy, good. Good all right guys so we got them out there about uh, 560 down on uh, Osborne Branch Dogs located. Alright, guys, we got them in there 450. You can see they've looped this whole place coming behind us now. What's the name of your dog? Ben. ben. Heard Ben strut, I just heard Hyde strut. See what happened. Alright, so we got them in there 340 yards. Don't know if y'all can hear that. Both dogs are treed. You see true indicator going up on hide there. So we going to uh, follow them. They say they know a good way in here. We're gonna see if we can't get in here and see what the dogs got in the tree. You boys ready? All right, guys, y'all lead the way. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got in here about 190 from them. They hushed and left the tree. I don't know if Hyde thinks it's wrong. Sees me coming. Thought he might be getting in trouble. He left. Now he's going back to it. So we're going to let him check this tree and make sure they're right before we go in there. You see I ain't too far from him. Well, he's back of the tree. So he went off of it there, right handed, checked it. He's come back. He says it's there, so we'll give him just another minute, make sure, and we'll go to him. Dakota, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? You having fun? Aaron, what do you think? Having fun? Yeah, first time didn't We're getting pretty close to them now, guys. We're gonna go down a steep ravine. See it right there. There's the meat. Stevie May, Kentucky, out in the field, buddy. You no, you're good. You're good. Did you see it, buddy? Yeah. See it, came? Yeah, it's just training season, so we're gonna let that sit there. But they're doing good.
back up here, fellas. I'll show you this thing a little bit. It ain't gonna look, but you see his little head right there. He got his face tucked. He don't want to look at us. But his body's showing real big on the other side. So no hiding that one. What's that dog off of, Trey? What's the bullet line? Oh. Yeah, that's not good. I don't remember. Right <laughs> it's pretty dog. Oh, Got hide loaded up over here. He's ready to go. I think we'll go over here with Trey Dog and let him come in the woods solo and see what he'll do. Old schoolhouse here. The coach's gonna take his dog and cut him in the woods. We're gonna leave hide in the truck on this one, see what this dog can do. Yep, go for it. Let it go. Alright guys, well, so we cut the dogs in here. Tried to, and uh, Ben went there. They looked at this whole place. They went several hundred yards. Hand up tree, we seen the meat. We got that on the footage. Then we took Ben and cast him down here. I had to cast him on a couple times. He went a couple hundred yards each time and uh, then come back to the truck. So we're going to call it a night. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. Did uh, you enjoy seeing the Yes, sir. Good. Well, I appreciate it. Trey, I appreciate you letting me come you out too. here and your property. Look forward to doing it again sometime. We'll go ahead and give you a couple of these beacons. You like them so well. Yes, Put them on your nose. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate yes, sir. it. I appreciate y'all letting me come down. Uh -huh. If y'all will, click like and subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. In the meantime, treat them for me.